Hello and welcome to Map and Key Gaming's Halloween Spooktacular, where we look at scary and extraordinary characters. And today's character that we are spotlighting is Sherlock Holmes from Unmatched. Now, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson here come from Unmatched, Cobble and Fog which is a two to four player game, plays approximately 20 to 40 minutes, and is for ages nine and up. And just to let you know that this is a character spotlight, not a strategy guide. So we're gonna be taking a look at Holmes here. We're gonna be looking at some of the art on the cards. We're gonna be going through all of his cards so you can kind of get an idea of how he plays and what to expect. But we're not gonna do like a deep dive you know, on how we can use Holmes to be, you know, Medusa or something like that. This is just for you to get an idea and to see if he's a character that you would want to play. So, starting with that, let's take a look at the Holmes figure. So he's pretty cool, you know, he's uh, putting up his dukes, getting ready to uh, to box someone. So that's, that's pretty cool. And his sidekick is the token right here of uh, Dr. Watson. So, you know, just like the books and the movies and, and stuff, he's there. And with that, let's take a look at his character card so we can kind of get an idea of how he plays and stuff. So here we have uh, Sherlock Holmes. He's a melee character, so that means he has to be next to the opponent for him to hit. And he has 16 health, which is here on his health dial. And then Dr. Watson down here is a ranged character. So he can hit from a distance, which that's pretty cool, pretty unique. And he has a health of 8. With Sherlock, knowledge is power. And you're going to see through pretty much the majority of his cards that this is definitely a thinky kind of a character. And he needs to know everything and he's going to know everything and then he's going to to fight and manipulate the board based off of that knowledge and you'll see that in the cards and the reason why i say all of that is right here in the center he has the effects on Holmes and dr watson cards cannot be canceled by an opponent so we're specifically talking about the cards that say Holmes and the cards that say dr watson and then right underneath that it says effects on any cards can be cancelled. We are going to start with the most common card in Unmatched, which is Faint. This is where this is all gonna, gonna come into play here. So if you see here at the top, he's a purple card. It's a purple card, which means it's used for attack and defense. You can use it for either one. And then underneath it, it's two. That's the value. And then right underneath it there, it says any. So that means that Holmes or Watson can use it. So any card that says any on it is treated as a normal card during a normal circumstance. If in that section there it says Holmes or Dr. Watson, then the effects cannot be canceled. That is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Why? Because look at Faint. What does Faint do? Right down here, oh, and then just to let you know, this little number in the circle is the boost. And then here, the effect of the card, and that is faint. Immediately, cancel all effects on your opponent's card. And like I said, this is it's the most common card found in the most decks. So that is actually pretty huge to stop this card. His ability counters almost every deck in the, in the game. That's just crazy. Now, his other purple any card here is education never ends. After combat... If you won the combat, your opponent draws one card. If you lost the combat, you draw two cards. If you win, you know, your opponent gets a little bonus. But if you lose, you're, you're getting more cards in your hand. And with a character like Sherlock Holmes, you want to get cards in your hand because you're going to be doing all kinds of things, as you will see. The next purple card here, that's an any, is Study Methods. After combat, if you won the combat, look at your opponent's hand. Knowledge is power. Absolutely. And nothing is more annoying than having to show your hand to your opponent. And for me, that's like any game. 
And then now we come to the first scheme card here, and that's a Dr. Watson. And you see how right there it says Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson, administer aid. Place Dr. Watson in a space adjacent to Holmes. Holmes recovers one health, draw one card. I've never seen this with any other character where when the sidekick gets close to the hero or next to the hero, he heals them and you draw a card for it. The next Watson card here is a purple for three and it is fixed point in a changing age. After combat, if Dr. Watson is adjacent to Holmes, they each recover one health. Oh man, that's so powerful. And yet, you know, you know he, he's a doctor. And Dr. Watson has service revolver, deals five. And the big reason, the big thing on this is that we're talking about five damage and Watson is ranged. So he's going to be shooting from across the board, well, across the board, I mean, across the area that you are sharing. And he's going to be able to, to hit and he's hitting for five. That's huge, 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 huge. So Watson is a great sidekick. But now we're going to be looking at Holmes. So Holmes's first scheme card here is Master of Disguise. Choose an opponent. Holmes swaps spaces with their hero. So that's like if it was a two-player game. You would, you would pick a person and then switch with their hero. And then deal one damage to that hero. Board manipulation, space man management, Holmes needing to be close to do damage, Watson needing to be having some space because he's ranged. You know, this is a, a card that just changes things up because whatever strategy your opponent had, you know, you just kind of flipped it on them and you better position yourself. At least you can better position yourself that way. Now, Holmes's first purple card here is deduce strategy. During combat, you may change the printed value of the opponent's card to its boost value. If a card doesn't have a boost value, it's treated as zero. Okay, so what he's doing essentially is taking this number here and then switching it with that. Boost no numbers are not very large. I mean, I see them one, two, maybe some of them are three. I don't know. Holmes is an amazing guy. Sherlock Holmes is an amazing guy. And uh, talk about amazing, here comes the counterpunch. Counterpunch. After combat, if Holmes is adjacent to the opposing fighter, deal two damage to that fighter. You're dealing an additional two damage if you're attacking, and if you're blocking, you're still hitting them for a couple of damage. And then we come to the famous elementary, a defense card there for Holmes. Elementary. Play this card face up. Predict the printed attack value of the opponent's card. During combat, if you predicted the correct value, cancel all effects on your opponent's card and ignore its attack value. Just shut it down. Shut, just shut the whole thing down. Okay, now here's his um, skirmish card here. Confirm suspicion. Choose an opponent and name a value. Your opponent must choose and discard one card matching that attack or defense value. So pick a number again. Their hero takes damage equal to the boost value of the discarded card. If they do not have a card of the named value, they must reveal their hand instead. So this is good. This is like one of those uh, kick them while they're down, right? You know, you make them discard the card and then they take a little bit of damage or show me your hand. Oh man, Holmes is amazing. Holmes is amazing. And his last uh, skirmish card here is going to be Eliminate the Impossible. Choose an opponent, look at their hand, and choose one card from them to discard. So you're making them discard a card. And then we come down to his final card here. The game is afoot. And it's a five damage. After combat, move Holmes up to three spaces. So you can go ahead, hit them, and then just move on out. That's that's a great move, especially if you're going up against another melee, because that means they're going to have to waste time trying to catch you. And so that has been Sherlock Holmes from 221B. 
<laughs> Isn't it Baker Street? Super, super powerful. Probably one of the best characters in the game because you're doing so much to mess with your opponent's hand. I mean, that's, that's, that's all that you can pretty much say there. So if you like this kind of content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Up here in the corner, I'm going to put the link so that you can check out other character spotlights that I've done. I've done character spotlights for the characters in the Cobble and Fog set and for the Battle of Legends Volume 1. And I do have additional uh, sets that I will be making more videos on in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, if Sherlock is there and the game is afoot, the game is over. <laughs>